WSYR TV Syracuse, the local station. You're watching News Channel 9 at 5:30. They're coming out in droves of what they care can be deadly. Good evening. I'm Christy Casciano. I'm Jeff Kulikowski. Doctors across central New York are giving that warning as we head into what's already a bad tick season. As our series Living with Lyme continues, News Channel 9's Nicole Somavilla takes us to Pediatric Associates of Camillus. Already we had one or two on the phone today. The calls keep coming in week after week. Dr. Tom Abamont is treating children for tick bites. Onondaga County is hyper endemic, so a lot of the ticks are infected. Which is why it's important to remove the tick as soon as you find it. You get down by the head of the tick that's embedded in the skin, and you just want to get them as, as tight as you can with the tweezers and kind of pull it off. But pulling it off doesn't mean you're in the clear. Sometimes we see like an arthritis that can develop in a knee or a Bell's palsy where the face droops. So you, you, it, it's months later, you know, six to 36 months later. Six months? Even six days after infection could be too late to treat Lyme disease. It's all about catching it early, which is why his office treats with doxycycline. For him, the length and strength of the dose depends on symptoms and how long the tick has been attached. It's been there more than 36 hours. It's a one-time dose of doxycycline. But for infectious disease physician Chris Paulino, after years of treating patients with debilitating long-term symptoms, he treats a bit sooner. 24 hours, maybe as little as 18 hours, you can get transmission of Lyme. And it's more than Lyme. Paulino warns the ticks in central New York carry other parasites and infections like Babesia and Anaplasma. Your platelets can drop. You can have some potential bleeding issues. You can have multi-organ failure. This time of year, it's very important to check your child once a day. So, know where they lurk. Bushes, shrubs, grasses, leaf piles. Know where to look behind you know, in the hair because it likes to get there and be tick aware because the sooner you find one the better off you'll be nicole somavilla news channel nine tomorrow night nicole answers the question why isn't there a lyme vaccine for people and next thursday as she closes out this month's living with lyme reports dr chris bellino will do, give us a deeper look at the other infections ticks in our area are carrying